Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Newsgram. Are you familiar with the healing power of dogs? How about the expression, 22 a day? I know I'm throwing a lot out at you at the top of the show, but today the show has multiple themes. It's all going to come together. Don't worry about that. If you're a veteran, you know exactly what 22 a day is all about. In 2013, the United States Department of Veteran Affairs released a study that covered suicides from 1999 to 2010. It showed that roughly 22 veterans a day were committing suicide. And there are some who suggest those numbers could be even higher. 22 a day. It's a reminder of the people who served this country but could no longer handle the pressures of PTSD. I like to reframe it as pain, trauma, sorrow, or despair, because then I think that takes away any chance of a stereotype when we hear the acronym PTSD. And pain, trauma, sorrow, despair is something we all know at least one aspect of at least once in our lives. That's Christine Hassing. She's a life story writer and author of the new book, Hope Has a Cold Nose. Did you get that first part? It's the thing that drew me to her. She writes people's life stories. And I'll get back to the book in a second, but allow me this brief indulgence because I just find that fascinating. We all have a life story. You may or may not think yours is one worth basing a movie on, but we all have stories to tell. And Christine is someone who likes to listen. So she's honed her listening skills and combined them with her writing skills to not only tell stories, but to help you tell yours. She facilitates a workshop called How to Write a Story of Your Life. It's where she will teach you how to write your life story if you choose to attend. Anyway, how cool is that? Something you hear me say all the time. Newsgram is all about interesting people living their lives in interesting ways. And Christine Hassing is more than just interesting. She's someone you need to know. Because here's a little more insight into her character. She was helping a friend who was dying of cancer to write letters for her two sons while at the same time volunteering at a local hospice, helping the patients there to tell their life stories. It was there that she met this veteran. I, I asked the veteran if I could write his life story. And what made that new for me is I had not written a life story for somebody who was not knowingly dying. And this veteran very graciously said yes. And so I wrote his story, and in his telling the story, he shared with me a statistic I did not know at the time that 22 veterans commit suicide a day. And the seeds were planted for what became her latest book. It just broke my heart to think that there was 22 souls that reached a point where they lost their sense of hope. She started talking to other veterans and discovered that the one thing that restored hope for many of them was getting a service dog. Now that should come as no surprise. Remember when I asked you if you were familiar with the healing power of dogs? If you could bottle that healing power, we'd all be drinking it daily. It's just a scientific fact. It's common knowledge, especially among dog owners, that dogs make us feel good. They have that common theme, but each of them are different. In her book, she focuses on 23 different veterans and the service dogs that restored their hope. Some people wanted to talk about their deployment. Others wanted to talk about how their life had changed once they got their service dog. And others wanted to share things from their childhood. Every one of her stories will melt your heart. There are so many takeaways here. How service dogs help people to heal from deep emotional wounds. How hope can be restored to people who have given up how we all have a story to tell. And while we may not be a natural born storyteller, we can get our stories out and start the healing process if someone will just listen and listen without judgment. That was one of the things that so many of the veterans said, my dog just listens. I can tell them anything. And they said, even if I have someone close to me who really tries to listen and understand, for the veteran, they're still judging themselves, and so they're still expecting the person they're talking to to judge them. Where a dog just looks at them with those loving eyes and holds absolutely no judgment. So I would also like to foster us unconditionally listening. We don't have to accept the story, but I think if we listen, we start the healing process for people too. 
Christine Hassing authored Hope Has a Cold Nose, but it was written by 23 co-authors that bravely share their life stories. Stories about life-changing moments, fears you can't erase, and torturous memories, guilt, horrific dreams, moments of anxiety, moments of faith, and the goodness of people. There is sincerity in here, genuineness, and the gifts and tragedies of life. And yes, there's one more takeaway I want to share with you. As you might imagine, Christine is a pretty good storyteller. When you make it your life's business to listen and help others, you also become pretty good at sharing those details. You can read them all or pick and choose your favorites, but I think you'll enjoy these powerful stories. The title is easy to remember, Hope Has a Cold Nose. Google that and let me know what you think. You can also learn more about Christine, and who knows, maybe she'll write your life story. Her website is christinehassing.com. There's a link to it right there in the show notes if you look up the description for this episode. And that will do it for another edition of Newsgram from webtalkradio.com. <laughs>